Right behind me is the Basilica of St Mary Major, the oldest church dedicated to Mary. The interior of the basilica preserves the Salus Populi Romani, an icon depicting the Madonna and Child which is especially venerated by Romans and protects the city and diocese of Rome. Just before 8 o'clock this morning, Pope Francis I left the Vatican and came to this church for a moment of private prayer. He knelt before the Salus Populi Romani, entrusting his new diocese and new flock, the people of Rome, to the Virgin Mary depicted. He left the church in a hurry, escorted by police and gendarmerie cars, and crossed the centre of Rome, headed for the residence of the clergy in Via della Scrofa, where he has been staying before he entered the conclave. He returned to the residence to pick up his suitcase, pay the bill and greet the staff he had met during his two weeks in Rome prior to the start of the conclave, which elected the 266th Pope of the Catholic Church and Bishop of Rome. His choice of papal name for Francis I is itself an indication of change. He is the first Pope in the Church's 2,000-year-old history to choose the name of the great Saint of Assisi, the great reformer who reformed the Church with the Gospel. This choice and Bergoglio's choice as Bishop of Rome highlight the link between the Pope and the local church and offer the first signs of the pontificate which begins this afternoon with a mass in the Sistine Chapel co-celebrated by the Pope and the 114 cardinals who elected him to the papacy yesterday afternoon.